This is how a classic bull looks like. It is smooth and it is trendy. And a cautious bull is started moving in a very wide range like this, like what we saw after March this year. Especially in the month of July and August, and what we're seeing here is Dow Jones, but for the NASDAQ, it has the same behavior from the top here all the way to the bottom. It was down 17%, and now it seems to have recovered back within a two months period. So, is this good or bad? It really depends on how we position ourselves. If you are an investor, definitely you do not want to see your position in July suddenly slump so much and later to recover back within this short period of time. It is going to give investor a heart attack. But if you are a trader, you should find this volatility interesting and some will even take advantage of it. My name is Con My work in this channel is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into the subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And since the end of 2022, my view for the US market was bullish, but a volatile one. Therefore, I term it as a cautious bull. And it is great for trader and a roller coaster ride for investor. In this tutorial, we will discuss two points. Number one, how did I analyze the market as a cautious bull towards the end of 2022? And number two, why the market, despite of a lightly interest rate cut in September, I still view it as a cautious bull to come. But first, how did I analyze the market as a cautious bull towards the end of 2022? And it was because of the inflation that is easing off from 9% in June 2022 towards the end of 2022, I could see that it is coming down. And I believe that if it continued to ease off the inflation I'm referring to, and for the year 2023, I'm suspecting that the market is going to be bullish. And that's what I'm seeing here and the market at the turn of 2023 it went into a bullish mode but a volatile one and before it started to pick up again in the year of 2024 it got smooth for a while and it became much volatile again and this is what i'm referring to a very smooth and trendy bull and this was a bad year in 2022 and then for 2023 and onwards market basically got into a very cautious bull and the next question is, why? I still find that this bull is still going to be a cautious bull. And I prefer to trade it instead of investing in it. And because of gold, it is still breaking new high. And we all know that gold is a good indicator of inflation. And the major purchaser of gold are mostly the central banks around the world, especially the last two years. And since they are still buying gold, it also means that they are still seeing inflation as a threat, even with a lower CPI reading. And let's study into the relationship between gold as an inflation hedge and the stock market. And down here I noted as the gold broke new high, then it was on the 28th of March. And let's look at gold on the 28th of March is about here. It, at this point, it broke new high, and you could see that the whole month of March, it keep on moving up. And once again, gold is viewed as an inflation hedge assets. And then what we saw here for the uh, market was that the, where am I? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> as the market break new high, as the whole month of March, gold continued to move up, we could see that the stock market came off. Until the gold peak at a point in time on the 12th of April, and that's what we're seeing here, 12th April pick, and it kind of, uh, for the whole month, it kind of moved down, it eased off, and then that's what we saw that the stock market kind of recover. But what we could see here is that I draw this uh, trend line, which I always love to draw, and I put this in contrast here, and I parallel it, so I do suspect that the market is going to range bound this very wide range for a while, and all this bottom up potential 
bottom here. And what I'm seeing here is that for the time being, I believe that US market should continue to track this range bound, which is I'm going to buy on dips when opportunity arises and sell on strength when opportunity arises as well. Now, this is a case study that we did uh, every week. We're going to do that is that during the second week of uh, August, uh, what we are seeing here is that this is Dow Jones, but on the NASDAQ, it has the same similar behavior as it reached the bottom here as it closed for the week we saw that there was a hammer and this to me it was a great buying opportunity and from from there we could see that the stock market recover but the nasdaq from then the second week of august it has also recovered by about 1000 points therefore as long as gold or the inflation is still firm i will maintain to trade the u.s market in this cautious pool. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you on what is about to come. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks. I hate